What's going on guys? So this is the door that I repaired. Uh, right here is where I had the hole in there. And you can't you can't you can see a little bit right there. There's some stuff here you can you can barely see. But you can see it. I went ahead and I painted the door. Okay. Now I didn't do an awesome knockout job doing the repair uh, or the paint uh, because I'm going to be replacing this door here. This is a 24 inch door. I want to make it a 32 inch door. I've got the space to do it. I just got to do it. And I've costed it out. It'll cost me about a hundred, I think, $150, $200 uh, to do everything. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a pre-hung door um, and um, I'm going to go ahead and paint it like I did this one. This is all this is all just rattle can. Um, what I did on this one in my other video I was showing how or I, I had explained how the hinges these are all brand new hinges I explained how the hinges You could actually see, you could actually, there was a gap. I could actually lift the entire door up. The door shut down, or it slid down, which is why it wouldn't latch. Which you can see, it's latched now. But yeah, I, 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 try, I gave it a love tap right there. I got it to latch. <laughs> so, and this is what it looks like on the inside. And as you can tell, or I'm sure you can hear, I have the fan running. I've got some paint areas here and here, right here, right here. I'm not too terribly concerned because, like I said, this door is going to get replaced with the bigger door. Um, but I'm probably going to paint the new door, and I got to, of course, I'm going to have to replace all the trim here. And the new door is going to come with a, a new piece of casing. So, uh, going to paint the new door the same color. Um, again, I just rattle canned it. I, I, I thought I thought one can of paint would be good for both sides, but it ended up being one can of paint per side. This is the side that I painted most recently, and that's why the fan is going because it's still emitting obviously not a toxic level of fumes but it's still emitting an odor um, and I'm gonna paint the new door in the same method uh, but I'm gonna remove the door remove the hinges paint the door itself same same fashion I'm gonna paint the casing a different color but I'm also going to use rattle can so yeah this one here is rattle can in clear coat um, We'll see how well that does holding up against dirt. I do have a special needs daughter. Um, she tends to get dirt on everything she touches. I'm surprised I don't see a, a, a cloud of dust uh, over her head. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 and hopefully when I do this, hopefully I shouldn't have to do anything with the flooring. I'm gonna rip out all the, uh, all the baseboard because I'm gonna have to rip this baseboard out and trim it down and if I want to rip this out you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna end up sanding it and cleaning it and painting it and then I don't want one white and then the rest to be well it looks all nice and white you can see there's some dirt marks there but I don't want it to be all like really bright and shiny and clean here and then the rest of it doesn't match so all the baseboards coming out but this is the only one that I'll have to trim down because really all I got to do is just my rough end is let's say right right here I got to move it move the rough to like here or 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 thereabouts so anyways but that's that's my fin the finished door uh, it really didn't look too bad on the inside um, normally you would before using spray paint you want to wipe wipe it down rubbing alcohol i didn't i just wiped it down with the dry cloth 
um, and I painted, I just put one coat of paint on each side of the door and like, I don't know, three coats of clear. So this is, this is going to be a good test to see how well this paint is going to hold up to the dirt that it will inevitably see. So, um, like I said in, in the last video that I made um, on the door, um, I, I, I told you that I, I might show you, um, Thank you what it looks like when it's done. So there it is. That's my completed door. I think, I actually, I like that color. It's a Glacier Mate Gray. It's darker here than, than the can, the, 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 the top had shown but uh all we got to do is find a, a nice neutral dark color for for the the, the trim which is going to work great for you know when it gets dirty um anyways so that's my video um so yeah if you want to see the next video i have coming out then go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see my next video brianna say hi Hello, hi. That's that's my daughter. If you if you want to know what what my next video is all about, uh, you know I'm gonna be doing brakes on my wife's car, and I got to do an, an axle on my wife's car. Got to do the brakes on my truck. So, who knows what my next video will be? Um. So yeah, but if if uh, if this inspired you, instead of you know painting the door or rolling it uh, I just rattle canned it and since I got to replace all the all the trim here I'm gonna rattle can all the trim the only thing that's really gonna uh, suck if you will is once I once I brad nail the door in then I'm gonna have those spots that I'm gonna have to touch up but it'll just be a quick little and it'll be it'll be good to go so that's that's this video for now um yeah let me know in the comments what you think I, I already like the way that turned out and you can see real quick you can see maybe you can't see it in the video but it's it's got the 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 grain effect in this door that's how these doors are manufactured and you can see you can't see it in the video, but yeah, you can see there's the grain there. See, there's a spot there, but you can see it's still got the grain effect. So that's what I have. Uh, if that, if this, uh, if you like this video, if it gave you some ideas on how to paint your doors, because I know. That's probably a, a subject that not a lot of people like as painting doors. Anyways, that's my video. Go ahead and hit hit the thumbs up if if uh if I gave you a, an interesting way of you know painting your doors. Um, and like I said, like I always say, if you want to see the next video I got coming out, go ahead and hit that subscribe, and you'll see what the next video is. Until the next one. I will talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye.